order to deploy a vRealize Operations Manager node in a cluster, you have to download and install the vRealize Operations Manager OVA file from the VMware product download page. Installation of a vRealize Operations Manager OVF file is done through the vSphere web client. You can deploy the downloaded OVA file and continue with your initial set of installations from the vRealize Operations Manager user interface. Why use an OVF file to deploy vRealize Operations Manager? Deploying an OVF file on a virtual environment is easy to use and maintain when compared to installers. The main advantage of deploying an OVF file over an installer is that the users need not buy a separate license for an operating system or maintain those operating systems to avoid security risks. Starting with version 6.6, .6, only OVF files are available to deploy vRealize Operations Manager. Before you can follow the steps outlined in this video, you'll need to verify the following prerequisites. Verify you are connected to a vCenter server system with a vSphere web client and log in to the vSphere client. Verify that you have a data center created and a host system already added to it. Verify that you have adequate memory disk space for a minimum of 16 gigabytes and a maximum of 128 gigabytes. Open a web browser and enter the static IP address of your vSphere web client. Enter the username and password on the vSphere web client login page and click login. From the vSphere web client navigator, select the host system you want to deploy the OVF file. Click the Actions drop-down menu and select Deploy OVF Template. From the Deploy OVF Template dialog box, select Local File and browse to the OVA file that is downloaded from the product download page. Click Next. Rename the OVA file and the location at which the OVF is deployed and click Next. Verify the resource where you want to run the deployed OVF template and click Next. Review the template details and click Next. Scroll through the license agreement and click Accept. Click Next. Select the configuration size. In this example, let's select a medium-sized configuration. Note, a default disk space is allowed regardless of which size you select. If you need additional space to accommodate the expected data, Add more disks after deploying the vApp. Click Next. Select a virtual disk format to store the files for the deployed template. In this example, we'll use Thick Provision Lazy Zero. This creates a virtual disk in a default thick format. Click Next. You can choose Browse to select a destination network or retain the default destination. Click Next. In this example, we're using a dynamic IP address, so you can leave the entries blank for DNS, default gateway, network 1 IP address, and network 1 netmask under networking properties. It's preferred to standardize the time zone setting to UTC. Click Next. Review the settings before you click Finish. Note, if you're creating multiple nodes to form a cluster, then repeat these steps to deploy each node. This process will take several minutes. Once completed, you can see a new VM added under your host. So let's go back to the host and check if our newly deployed node is added to the host. Right click on the host and select Power On. Once the VM is powered on, copy the IP address from the Summary tab. Take the newly created IP address and open it in a new browser. You're now ready to install vRealize Operations Manager. For more information on installing vRealize Operations Manager, see the vRealize Operations Manager Information Center on docs.vmware.com.